Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over the AIG Live Traffic mod. And as of lately, you may have noticed that if you go up to the top and click on the online button to download liveries, that you will have nothing available. So we're going to go over the fix for that, all coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone, so let's get right into this for today, and if this video does help you out, be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. Smash on that thumbs up button if you'd like to help support the channel. So the first thing that we need to do is to locate the AIG folder that we have on our desktop, and then we're going to highlight all of the contents of that folder, and then just hit the delete button. So now we should have an empty AIG folder on the desktop. Next, if we open the community folder, you will see the OCI beta and the OCI beta CVT file. We are not going to do anything with those. We're going to leave those alone and do not touch those and do not delete anything there. Step two is we're going to head over to the Alpha India Group website and we're going to go to the software and the downloads and we're going to go down and click on the AIG public beta 1.1. Once you click on the file, it will download that to your web browser down here in the left hand lower corner. We're just going to allow that to finish. So once that is finished downloading, all we need to do is give that a big old left click and that should open up your unzipping program. Once that's done, we no longer need the AIG website up anymore. So we can go up to the top and close that out at this point. Then we're just going to go through and highlight all the contents in this folder. And then we're going to drag and drop that over to the AIG folder that we have on our desktop. The one that we had just deleted everything out of. Now that all the files have been copied, all we need to do is to double click on the AIG folder, go down, find the AIG application, right click, and then run as administrator. Click yes, and then allow it to load. And it's going to take a little bit of time because it's going to be just like the first time that you installed the application. You just want to read through all of the prompts that it's going to give you and answer accordingly. Once you do get through all the prompts, it will take another five to 10 minutes for it to load. Just allow it to do its thing and then come back to it. Once everything is just about loaded, you may get one more prompt that tells us that there may be some updates. So we're just going to click OK on this and it will open up the AIG application file. And now you can see all the various installed aircraft and liveries as well as if we click on the installed button at the top. If we click on the online now, we have all the different various liveries and aircraft in which we can choose for download. And you can either scroll through them like we're doing right now or we can go down to the filter tab and just type in the airline in which you're looking for. Once you have selected the airline which you'd like to download, all you need to do is to come over and click on the install button. Don't click on the download button, but make sure you click on the install button. Now this may take a minute or two for the new pop-up to show up on your screen. Just give it a second and there we go. Now once this has populated on our screen, all we need to do is to go down and click on the OCI install that will bring up our next pop-up window and then we can just click on the install button and we are all done. Now all we have to do is sit back and wait for it to download all the different aircraft and liveries for KLM and once that is complete, we'll come back at you. Great, now that you have gone through and downloaded all the liveries, there's just a couple more steps that we need to go through just to make sure everything's gonna run properly on the Microsoft Flight Simulator. First thing we need to do is to come over here and click on the settings tab that's going to open up a couple more options at the top. We're going to click on the AIG OCI button. And once we do, we want to go down and find and highlight the verify textural format button. When we click on that button, you may think nothing's happening. But if we check down here in the lower right hand corner of the application, you'll see the status bar with the progress. Once that goes through and verifies all the textural formats of all the different liveries, you're gonna get a pop-up at the very end telling you that everything is done and we're all set to move on. All you need to do is click OK and we just need to now go and click the Verify Setup button. Again, you may think nothing's happening, but just check the status bar down in the lower right-hand corner and it is doing its thing. 
Now this particular part of the process is going to take quite a while and it all depends on how many aircraft liveries that you have downloaded. So once it has gone through all the preliminary checks, it will then start opening up the individual airline applications and downloading all the liveries and updates for that. Now at this time, you do not want to touch anything. So you don't want to hit the install button and you don't want to hit the configure. All you want to do is to allow it to go through and it will automatically download everything that it needs to for all of your liveries that you have downloaded. Again, this part of the process may take up to a half hour or an hour. Just let it do its thing. Once it finishes up, we'll come back at you and let you know what the next steps are. So once they finish, we will have a little pop-up that's going to show us that all the verification is done. At this point, all we need to do is to click OK and we're good to go for that portion. Next, we just want to verify that we have everything else still set up correctly in the AIG. So if we go on the flight plan menu, we just want to make sure the AIG directory that we have in here still points to the AIG traffic controller application. If that has changed, you want to make sure that that is set correctly and we should be good to go there. So once we have verified that all the information is correct, we just need to come over and hit the save button and then we can go down and close out the application. Thanks everybody for joining us here today. If you have any questions, please post those down below in the comments section. Be sure to hit that subscribe and tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. I hope everybody got a lot of information out of it today. And to all of my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.